What's up, Sagittarius? How y'all doing? This is your weekly reading. I've missed y'all so much. Not my back already starting to hurt. Just kidding. It's not hurting um, yet. If you're new here, my name's Tori. I do these readings weekly. I do you guys every Tuesday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm, my uh, podcast is uploaded every Monday, 2 p uh, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want a personal reading, you can click the link in the description below that says personal reading. Um, I have a little bit of fun with those. But just remember, take everything I do with a grain of salt. I mean, I haven't had a bad experience yet. But um, don't live your life by these fucking readings, bro. It's easy to get sucked down the rabbit hole. I mean, I predicted some crazy shit, but still. Who the fuck am I? Just a lesbian on the internet. Um, that was a horrible shuffle. If you want to make a donation to the channel one time, you can buy me a coffee at the link below. To everybody who has bought me a coffee, I appreciate you guys. There will also be a card that will come up uh, at the three minute mark. So... Uh, all right let's see oh also join my mailing list that's probably my most uh, i'm most proud of that join my uh my newsletter i send i send a newsletter out every monday wednesday and friday and people seem to love it we got a nice little community going there if you want some extra extra perks and shit five of cups oh there it is there it is five of cups you know what this is this is regret <laughs> um sadness upset you y'all aren't how how y'all doing ace of pentacles by the way for all the green it's gonna fuck up my it's gonna fuck with my green screen in the back i apologize i won't use this deck anymore which sucks because i fucking love this deck Knight of Swords in reverse. It's a little bit of impulsive energy. Like, I don't know if... This Five of Cups here <clears throat> is all about... Um, it's regrets. It's disappointments. It's, um, it could be a little bit of depressive energy. It's mourning. You know what I mean? But um, next to that, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So I don't know if it's like you're... You're mourning some sort of opportunity that you might have jumped into a little bit too quickly with this Knight of Swords in reverse. That's impulsivity. So it's like maybe you had some sort of offer that wasn't exactly what you thought it was going to be or what you hoped it would be. And now you're kind of a little sad. Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, not y'all being heartbroken. This is y'all really trying to get over something, like get over a heartbreak or something. You know what I mean? Like, um, yeah. Queen of Swords in reverse. I got this ice box where my heart used to be. Queen of Swords in reverse is the ultimate ice queen. Um, fuck. Nine of cups in reverse. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's, 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 it's this, like, somebody offered you something, and maybe at, at face value, it was like, even if it's a job, like, you thought it was going to be this great fucking opportunity, and it just ended up, like, really disappointing you. Um, and you kind of regret taking the opportunity because now it's whatever this opportunity was is like hurting you in some sort of way. Nine of, Pentac uh, Nine of Cups in reverse is a card about overindulgences, right? So again, it could be that impulsive energy like you jumped in and like uh, fucking got consumed in it really like too quickly or... That's just a dissatisfaction card. Like I ain't satisfied with the shit. Yeah, judgment. You made a you made a bad judgment call, Sagittarius. 
not the best fucking judgment call with whatever this situation is again it could be anything could be a relationship some sort of somebody or something that was given to you that was like um given to you on a platter but it was still shit on a platter but you didn't have you didn't even have time to realize that it was shit on a stick you just saw the stick and you were like give it to me and now you're dealing with the repercussions of it which is sadness essentially like feeling at a loss emotionally um and and again this could be a job too but it f- it's feeling more emotional with the five of cups being the first card out um and the judgment card in reverse just it again it's just a poor fucking judgment call like had you just take had you just taken a step back and really thought about what it was you were accepting um you could have probably avoided this it's almost it's like it's like it's like Sagittarius you kind of broke your own heart heart here you know what I mean um again it's it's like that had you just really thought about it that's all it needed to take was that that like that thought like paying attention to the judgment is like the judgment in reverse is like you're making the wrong choices because you're not listening to your higher self. You're not listening to the universe or God or whatever it is you believe in, right? Like you're not listening. You're listening to the stupid fucking thoughts in your head and um, your stupid thoughts in your head, Sagittarius, told you to take this opportunity and it fucked you the fuck over. The magician in reverse. This gets better and better. This is somebody wearing a mask. Somebody who, again, like I've been saying, somebody, this is a con artist, right? Like somebody who, I feel like you might be disconnected from this somebody or something, right? But like this could be somebody who came to you and was like, I have this great job offer for you. And they sprinkled all the little like whatever onto it. And you were just like, yeah, this sounds really good. And you got conned. It could be like somebody who came to you and was like, here I am baby here's my heart take me out to dinner bing bong and you were like my fucking prince or princess charming let me go for it and they ended up being a schmuck like it could be that and let me say they're still a fucking schmuck stop I can't make it up three of swords in reverse again the good news here is like y'all are trying to release the fucking heartache and the heart break um having a little bit of difficulties though because either this person is still in your energy like trying to con your ass and they're doing it like they're getting shit over on you you know what i mean like it could be that or um i don't fucking know you're just having a hard time two of wands Two of Wands at least tells me that um, you ain't out of the woods yet. It doesn't feel like, again, keeps going back to this Five of Cups, which is like the first card out, which is the initial energy of disappointments and regret. Like, I regret taking this offer, genuinely. Because it, it, like, left me in a worse position, you know? But the Two of Wands, I just spit. The Two of Wands tells me... Um, what is the two of wands telling me? At the very least, you're seeing a new, you see a new path. I don't know if you've taken it yet, but you see that there is a, another path that you can take, right? And you're looking at it. It looks fancy to you. It looks, it looks, it looks good. You know what I mean? But, I, but you're still holding on to the old path I think that's what's fucking you up I think that's what's fucking you up Sagittarius um that's funny the Empress okay y'all are and 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 here's the thing with the fucking Empress coming out at the bottom of the deck the Empress at the bottom of the deck tells me your overall energy is like y'all 
being in that bad bitch energy, right? Knowing who who the fuck you are. Maybe you don't know with all of this clouded, like, trickery that's been going on here, right? And and you're stuck in this place of, like, um, really feeling regret and and whatever for for where you're at uh but the 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 rub is that y'all are in this empress energy right now which is and it's like upright which means that you're in this co-creative place where whatever it is you're putting your energy into you're getting back tenfold because you are very creative and fertile right now like i mean could be fertile in in the in like you know the physical too like but whatever it but spiritually like uh universe why am i spitting universally you're 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 um fertile right so uh not me losing my train of thought in the middle of a sentence we love it here Okay, so basically when you're in that co-creative place of like of fer- fertility and really like whatever you're pl- whatever seeds you're planting are being are sprouting, you better be planting the right fucking seeds, Sagittarius, cuz if you ain't you're growing weeds. And then you got to tend to that. You, you got to either cut them fucking weeds, why even grow them though is what I'm trying to say. Why even grow the weeds? Don't plant them. Get rid of this shit energy. And I'm not saying like if y'all are heartbroken or going through some shit or hurt by something or whatever, like feel those feelings, baby. Your feelings are valid, 100%. I would never invalidate anybody's feelings purposefully. You know what I'm saying? Feel them, but like don't deal with this shit anymore. You know? Because y'all are the empresses. too good for that like know who the fuck you are remember who you are you deserve ace of cups and you deserve that pure love love that (laughs) not the queen of cups in reverse god damn it The wheel of fortune in reverse. And the king of wands in reverse. Um, Y'all are kind of all over the place, huh? King of wands in reverse is your energy. Like that's fire energy. It's fire sign energy, right? But it's not like, it's, it's again, like you might see the path, but you don't know how to take it. Um, And if you took it right now, it'd probably be a little bit chaotic. You'd go, you'd go in like a wrecking ball. You probably need to get your fucking energy right first. The king of wands in reverse is very, um, could be like aggressive energy, right? Not aggressive like you're a fucking abuser or something like that, but it's like you have all of this passion and you don't know how to contain the passion. You don't know how to express it in a way that makes sense. So like if there is somebody, let's say, that you care about that you were like angry with or something like that the king of wands in reverse would come in swinging not literally sometimes literally but figuratively like come out your neck and that ain't a way to like make make a situation better if that makes sense so what you're the queen of cups in reverse like that's i mean that could be cancer pisces scorpio energy doesn't have to be um that's just saying you're not in touch with your fucking intuition or your emotions and you really need to be. Because if you've been feeling with the wheel of fortune in reverse, if you've been feeling this bout of like bad luck, like you can't catch a fucking break, it's the break you're not giving yourself. <laughs> like y'all need to wake up and smell the fucking coffee. You know what I mean? Because all of this opportunity and to turn it around is here. The cards are out, right? You just have to really fucking pay. Like I said, with the judgment in reverse, you have to pay attention. You better wake up and pay attention. If you want to go be somebody, if you want to go somewhere, 
who knows that movie comment the movie but like that's what it is sagittarius that's exactly what the fuck it is king of swords <laughs> this fucking card continually comes up you gotta be honest the king of swords you gotta be honest up front speak the way you gotta like say what you need say what you need to say how you need to say it that is the main always that's always the fucking like underlying theme the king of swords literally comes up i think you could go back to f literally the summer and uh you'd be seeing either the king of swords in reverse or upright upright is a good sign which tells me maybe you are starting to speak your truth maybe you are starting to s say what's on your mind and speak your peace and that's good keep doing that though because the thing with energy is it can change right like you're in control of it essentially so you could be speaking up one week and then the next week block yourself off again don't do that let the energy flow the fool wipe the slate clean you have an opportunity here for a clean slate a new beginning with something or someone right wiping the slate clean the emperor I feel like you just got to get back in control of things. You know what I mean? The emperor it could be Aries energy. It doesn't have to be. But the emperor is about like really um, the analytical portion, right? And and the empress did come out. And that could be like a divine counterpart as well. But realistically, it's the balance between the feminine and the masculine. The emotions and the thoughts. The emotions and the intuition and everything that seems woo woo and the analytical and rational whatever it's the it's the balance between god and earth you know what i'm saying like you have real life practical things i can touch this thing i can like sm i can smell coffee like you know what i mean you have your physical five sense uh, five yeah five senses <laughs> I wanted to say six for some reason. You have your physical five senses, but then you have your sense of being and emotions and, and God and whatever the fuck it is you believe in, right? You need to find the balance between it all. Death in reverse. There's some sort of change that you're resisting. <laughs> Transformation within yourself. But let this be like your cocoon sagittarius um stop resisting the change or the ending because it's like i feel like the fool is that rebirth right but it can't happen until you just learn to let go of people situations of limiting beliefs that you have within yourself wow king of swords and speak your truth I'm done with y'all. Not y'all being the longest reading that I've done today. This card wanted to come out. What does it say? Rada, soul flame. Rediscover Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and healing. What I say? What I say, Sagittarius. Mother Mary, love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Yeah, maybe there's like a letting go of pride. Sanat Kumara, light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Yeah, but you actually, the kicker is you actually have to listen to it. With that judgment in reverse, it tells me you haven't been, but like you, you actually have to. <laughs> So that's that's fun. Uh, that's what I got for y'all. I will catch y'all in the next reading. Uh, peace out, everybody.